So what if, given this tree here, I gave the remove operation of remove 50? Now you remember in the previous video, I had to look for my in-order predecessor, what came before me. However, I don't have anything. And in our case, uh, just like we've done in the past, I would remove my 50. It's gone. Haha. -ha. But what happens to be left? Well, I see that I have some right in order node. I would go from the left. I see I have no nodes on the left. So I just used, in this case, my, uh, I'll say this, if no in order predecessor, use in order what we would call successor. What would be the next access node? And in our case, it's the 75. So we would give 75 up here. And so just to draw that out again, 2, 25, 75, 10. And once again, we see that I happen to have a Z, a Y, an X. Both are in a zig-zig formation, so I simply would tilt this the opposite direction, and so what I should see is 75, 25, 2. Now I still happen to deal with that 10, and as we've seen in the past, I happen to have a T1, a T2, some T3, T4. Now, given that we're dealing with a uh, right, right zig zig, we would give T1 and T2 to X. So, in this case, I would come in and 10 would be given to the 2.